Can you use the brand new M1 iMac as your only video editing computer? Let's find out. Uh, can't slam the Mac. Close enough. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So the answer to that question is, yes, absolutely. Obviously, you could use the brand new M1 iMac as your only video editing computer. It's got the same processor as my Mac Mini, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and we've already seen that those are all fantastic machines. But what I really wanna see today is, how well does it work? If you were to buy this as your only video editing computer, like what's the process look like? Is it worth getting? Or should you get something like the MacBook Pro or the Mac Mini or even a Windows computer gas? And I would like to say up front, thanks to Apple for letting me borrow this iMac to make these couple of videos about. I did pre-order one and I have one on the way, uh, but it's not out yet. So this is Apple's model. I'm just waiting for mine to show up. So what we're gonna do today is I've already made the unboxing video for the iMac. So we're actually gonna walk through, cut a little bit of that up and just see how it works. So I think video editing is really in three parts. Parts, right? There's the processing, the actual editing, and then the rendering. So let's see how it all works. I did make sure to save us all a little bit of hassle, and I've already transferred the files from the unboxing video for the iMac over here. So let's make a new event. We will be using Final Cut Pro because that's my video editor of choice. You could also do something like this with Resolve, but I don't have Resolve installed on this right now. So iMac unboxing test. Now, one quick note I wanna make is we will not be, if you see the screen recorded by itself, we're using an external recorder to record this. So this is all, nothing's working on here except the video editor. So we should not see any weird stuff that way. So, okay, let's move over to this. Okay, I was gonna use that, but I don't think I'm gonna use that anymore. File, project, unboxing test. Okay, so let's import all of the media over. Okay, test video. Let's grab these three. Because I always, when I do unboxings or when I do stuff, I like having three angles. The main angle, the overhead angle, and the floating angle, which goes into lots of different spaces. So, so far, we've seen uh, this looks pretty smooth. So all three of these video files that you're gonna see are from a Lumix S5. I have three Lumix S5s. They're all shooting in 4K, 10-bit, H.265, which on normal computers makes them cry very, they do not, normal computers do not like working with these kind of files. Uh, so it's really nice to see that the M1s are doing it pretty well. So we'll move you over here, move you up here. Move you. Yes, there are ways to do this multicam, and I know that I do not do this in the most efficient of processes, but you know, you get, once you're an old dog and you get in your tricks, it's hard to teach you something new. So let's work. The first thing we'll do is we will do our color grading and see how the iMac works for color grading. But already, I mean, I'm not seeing any like stutters or slowdowns. The speakers on this thing are so good. So good. Okay, let's add our basic LUT. So I shoot in a log recording codec, which you can see everything here looks really gray. So we use a transformation LUT that Lumix actually provides called their nicest LUT. So it will, whoops, we added it to the wrong thing. We're actually gonna add it to everything. So there we go, there is the transform light. You see it added a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation. However, that's not it. We still got a little bit more to go. So let's, okay, so you can see it added a little bit of contrast and saturation, but there's a little more we're gonna do. I have my own little preset LUT thing that I built. So there we go, add it there. Looking pretty good. I try to grab a spot where I can see my skin tones because that's obviously what matters the most to me. We pull up the scopes. You can see the skin tones as this little thing right here. They're a little low for what I like. I like bringing them up to 75. So let's move them up just a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got the color correction for that one. Let's do the rest of the color corrections real quick. Again, log footage, camera LUT, nicest. S5 overhead, because it looks a little different, so I have that set up slightly differently. Then we'll come over here, nicest, I, oh right, we did that accidentally. Nicest, there we go. Okay, so all of the color grading is done, and you've probably noticed while we're doing all of this color grading, I haven't seen anything slow down, nor has there been a really big hiccup. Okay, let's quickly sync all of the audio, and yes, I know there's an easier way to do this, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Apple has booked. Wow, look. See, it's even easier. All you gotta do is line these things up, line the little waveform sounds up, and then it's really easy to sync it. Apple has booked. Boom. Four, here, we'll do that. 
that. Okay, synced. The only thing we still got to do on this top one is rotate it because don't nobody want to see that upside down. So effects, transform, show, rotation, 180. I guess we'll zoom it in just a little bit so we can see the desk. Boom, everything has now been processed. You saw how quick and seamless that can be, especially if you have your own presets built. So I would let, I would strongly suggest that if you do a lot of video editing, you need to take time and build out what you need and then build everything into presets. So you can see, we just took three layers of 4K, we processed the files, we took three layers of 4K that were all shot in log, added the LUT, added the preset, processed the audio. It all took what, we've been doing this for like five minutes now? Like that's how quick and efficient this can be. But what makes it even better is when you have a computer like this iMac where it's seamless. Like I still haven't seen a single stutter. And this is H.265. Like I'm, I know we've said this a lot since the M1s have come out, but I really want you to understand that even like last year at this time, before all the M1s came out, trying to do H.265 was something that you don't do. Like you would never do because of how much of a pain it is to try to work with. But look at this. Than last year's no stutters, no slowdowns. It feels like it's always gonna break. The speakers on this thing are phenomenally good. Uh, probably helps if this is lighter because it's smaller, but I too. love it. I love these I love these computers so much. I don't love that that was out of focus. Look at that. That's what you get when you use a Lumix autofocus. I thought it was in manual focus. Actually. Okay. Sample. Alright, let's get to the okay, the processing worked fine. We see no stutters. Let's get to the editing and see how well that works. So what I like to do, let's see, where do we start off? Apple has updated their iMac. Apple has done it. So, Apple has updated. Oh, see, you can see I messed up. Apple has updated. Oh, I messed up a lot. All right, let's cut this. Apple has updated the iMac to include the brand new M1 processor. This okay, we'll cut to a different shot right up here because you gotta you want to keep it a little like fresh keep it cutting when you can new m1 processor this should make it much smaller much more efficient and a very good and a oh and you see how i screwed up right there so the way that you cover those screw ups is much more efficient and a you cut between angles so it'll seem like less of a jump if you go between angles so look much smaller much more efficient and a much better deal see so uh it's much more seamless that way all right we did this so, uh, hold on, let's not throw our back out. Let's not throw it out, Gary. <laughs> is it, it is, it is kind of heavy. What comes in the box, and is it any good? Let's, let's find, find out. out. Okay, so we'll do cut that, cut that, boom. Whoops, I have my, my regular setup set up a little bit differently. So I like doing the, right about here, we'll add the Ken Burns, which is just that slight little zoom in. Ken Burns, boom. Done. Oh, goodness, it's still heavy. What comes in the box, and is it any good? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. What's up, everyone? Okay, looking pretty good. Now, I don't have my sound effects on here, unfortunately, but I can get the movements and stuff in, so let's put that right here. I like the transition to be 0 0.04, left to right. So just imagine. Find out. What's <laughs> up, everyone? Woo! Woo! You just gotta, we, we gotta imagine that. Well, these have sound effects too, though, right? We'll do that. We'll do that one. I like that. Out. What's up, everyone? Okay, you want it to be staggered just a little bit. Out. What's up, everyone? I'm the... Let's find out. What's up, everyone? I'm, I'm the Everyday Dad. Dad. And if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. It's almost like I say that a lot. You can figure it out. So thanks... Okay. Right about there. And then we'll do our crop, which we normally do. Scale. Oops. Come down here, scale, position, right about there. Hey, Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So thanks to Apple for sending this to me. So, I, so thanks to Apple for sending me. Okay, so that, I mean, you don't need to see me edit the whole video. Just to show, yeah, I don't see any slowdowns. There's no problems here. Editing on this is going to be a dream. So we've done the processing, we've done the editing. No issues. So what we'll do now, let's see how well it works in the render, because I don't want to waste all y'all's time today. So let's get a five minute section. Here we go. We'll cut, delete. So we've got five, you can see here, we've got a five minute 0 0.06 second clip. We'll turn on, let's just do a random spattering of, we'll cut between stuff so we can keep the processor on its toes. 
Again, this is all 4K 10-bit H.265. We can see that, so Gary can prove that he's telling the truth. Right here, you can see HEVC 2997, because 30 frames per second is what really matters. And you can see 4K, so, okay, so we'll send this out to, let's set it to settings. We'll do it to publishing to computer, because that's the way I like doing it. We'll do faster encode in 4K. That'll give us a 1.89 gigabyte file, so let's actually get our handy dandy clock out our timer or our stopwatch i always get that wrong we haven't done this in a little bit so obviously uh, i'm a little rusty on ye olde uh, video editing comparison so ready next we'll save it as unboxing test to the desktop all the files are on the computer everything's ready to go so three two one go okay how are we doing in the percentages one, two, looks like it's going pretty fast, three. Okay, so I'm not just gonna count this out here for you. So you can see that we're already at 5%, we're only like 15 seconds in, so we'll pause here real quick. You don't have to sit here and wait. I'll sit here and wait for this, and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we have got about 9% left. We're almost at three minutes, so this has been incredibly fast. So let's get ready to stop. Let's get ready, get ready. Doesn't count till it flashes up. Boom, three minutes exactly. So it took three minutes to render a five minute file of footage that would make another computer cry. Like this is, this is remarkable stuff. Like almost twice real time on a file set that almost no other computer could work with. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This has been a joy. So could you use the M1 iMac as your only video edited computer easily? Easily, this is the version with the eight core CPU, the eight core GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's so good. If you're looking for a video editing computer, especially just an all-in-one thing that's gonna sit at your desk and run your YouTube channel, or run whatever other creative enterprise you got going, I, yeah, you could absolutely use the M1 iMac for that. And if you like this video, and you wanna see what comes with it if you do get the M1 iMac, because there are a lot of cool things that come in that box. You can see my unboxing video that we just kinda edited right here. You can find it by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.